former President Trump beginning his closing message on the campaign using vulgar language in new attacks against Vice President Harris. Rachel Scott is here with the latest on that. Rachel, good morning. Hey, wait, good morning to you. And Donald Trump has never really been a conventional candidate. He rarely sticks to a script, but his closing message in the critical battleground state of Pennsylvania is drawing attention this morning, not for what he said about his vision for the country, but because of his vulgar language and profane attacks. Over the weekend, Donald Trump barnstorming Pennsylvania for what his campaign said would be the start of his closing message to voters. So if we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole damn thing, right? But his rally in that must-win state took a lewd and vulgar turn. The former president opening his speech with a 12-minute diatribe about the late golf legend Arnold Palmer, who grew up in the town, and how other players reacted after seeing him in the shower. I'm going to tell him the real story of Arnold. But Arnold Palmer was all man, and I say that in all due respect to women, and I love women, but this guy, this guy, this is a guy that was all man. This man was strong and tough, and I refuse to say it, but when he took showers with the other pros, they came out of there, they said, oh my God. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. We have women that are highly sophisticated here. When Trump eventually turned to his rival, he used profanity to attack Vice President Kamala Harris. So you have to tell Kamala Harris that you've had enough, that you just can't take it anymore. We can't stand you. You're a <laughs> vice president. The worst. Trump drifted throughout his speech. In one 30-second riff, he went from pushing false claims about the 2020 election to complaining that President Biden is no longer in the race to talking about his hair. He got 14 million votes and he won. 22 people running, 22 Democrats there running. Oh, I'm looking at my hair up there. Let's see. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. Excuse me, I'm going to recomb my hair. Do you mind? I'll leave the stage for... Five minutes. I'm going to recomb my hair, Mr. Future Senator. We have David down here. Mr. Future Senator, you got to get him in. Despite pleas from his allies to focus on the issues, not personal attacks, Trump has only escalated his rhetoric for the third time in just one week, repeating claims that his political opponents are the enemy from within. At one point, even suggesting they could be, quote, easily handled by the military. The outside people, the so-called enemies, if they're enemies, and they might not be enemies, mm -hmm. if you have a smart president, they can be handled. During an interview with Fox News, Trump was repeatedly presented with facts to challenge him on his false claims about January 6th. There was nobody killed here. Nobody had guns here either. There were people with guns. Well, were really? I'd like to know. You mean in the rally, or they had they had some guns at their home? No. At, at the rally. Oh, really? Well, I have not heard that at all. No, I don't think so. Over a dozen members of the mob have faced gun charges as part of the attack. And at a campaign photo op at McDonald's, the former president fixated over whether Harris ever worked there, once again hedging on whether he would accept the results of the November election. It's a fair election. Always. I would always accept it if it's, it's got to be a fair election. Billionaire Elon Musk, who's backing Donald Trump, has been doing a series of campaign events for him in Pennsylvania. But this morning, his pledge to give away a million dollars a day to people who signed his super PACs petition is raising new legal questions. We've talked to experts about this. They say giving people money to vote or to register to vote is a federal crime. We've also reached out to his political organization. We have not heard back, but at least one Democratic governor is saying this should be looked into. Here we are in the final stretch. Okay, Rachel, thank you.